The Danish convenience market is very competitive and in a 10-year period from 2002 to 2012, the total number of convenience stores declined by 35%. This is a case about transforming all 7-Eleven stores from convenience kiosk to leading player within quality convenience food and generating profitable growth in doing so. 7-Eleven Denmark has been around for 25 years uh, and covers the whole marketplace today. In 2008, we faced some challenges because of the financial crisis. The entire business was uh, impacted by that. And I think all in convenience started discussing what kind of strategies should make sure that we go through this. On top of the challenges we faced around the financial crisis, we started hearing from the politicians that they wanted to change legislation around opening hours. So we started in our management team to discuss how is that going to impact our business? How is we going to react? and what are we going to do to make sure that we will still be relevant to the Danish consumer. So after the legislation change on opening hours, we started realizing that digitalization became more and more important for the way we operated retail. So people uh, started buying uh, transport tickets online. They didn't go to our stores. We saw quite a big impact on uh, newspapers and magazines. We started seeing impacts on tobacco sales as well. So the categories that used to be very big for us started declining. So part of our strategy was to, how can we compensate for that lost traffic? How can we make sure that we are still relevant for a lot of customers in the Danish marketplace? So we felt that we were in a situation where we had to change our product range. We had to introduce a lot of healthier choices. We didn't stop selling what's traditional fast food because we wanted to maintain that customer in the store, but we would like to have a new customer group coming into our stores. And to, to get that new customer group, we changed the product category and we worked a lot with healthier choices so we could cover a much broader product range than we used to. Uh, 7-Eleven Denmark didn't only have to face the changing world, but actually we wanted to get ahead of the movements and, and what people decided to do with their product buy. So we were trying to be ahead of the development curve. Every time a customer came into our stores, we wanted to surprise them with products they perhaps didn't even know they wanted. And that was quite successful. So looking back, it was the right change for our, our strategy. And uh, we have had a tremendous growth in healthier choices uh, of what we sell in the stores. In 2013, a fundamental strategy process was initiated. A number of different growth scenarios were validated and evaluated. Quality convenience food was defined as the relevant area of growth for 7-Eleven. A number of strategic scenarios were defined within organizational development, product development, store experience and marketing. Product range became main focus, concentrating on quality food, bakery and hot and cold beverages. Going from traditional kiosk to modern convenient food store, the overall store experience had to change. Through a close cooperation with local quality food innovators, including small and local startups, new products were developed for 7-Eleven based on the newest food trends and tastes. My name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Paleo Foods. We are a food and a juice company which are uh, very proud to say that we are the innovative partners of 7-Eleven in Denmark. When we started our journey of uh, providing uh, fresher food with more taste and more flavor, uh, four years ago, we were looking for a partner that had the same principles. 7-Eleven uh, Denmark was about to uh, be that partner because they understood the power of innovation and what quality can do to uh, consumer groups. So we partnered up and since then we have managed to bring our brand all the way across Scandinavia and we have managed to provide new customers uh, for 7-Eleven because quality and innovation actually matters. So we're super happy that they had trust in our products and that we could bring something unique to them. A change from traditional fast food to fresh quality food was implemented over a period of time. Today, 35% of the sales of food, drinks and bakery comes from healthier products in 7-Eleven. The logistics were changed to handle fresh food delivery to all stores nationwide. Ordering in the evening, producing during the night and delivery the next morning, six days a week. And we introduced a new store layout and dedicated an area for in-store eating. The focus on quality food was established in several ways. More organic products like organic fair trade coffee served with organic fresh milk in 100% plant-based cups. 
an increased number of vegan and vegetarian products. 7-Eleven now has the widest range of vegan and vegetarian products in the convenience market. More fresh-made products are baked or prepared in the stores, and a private label range of around 100 quality products including salads, sandwiches, wraps, juice, smoothies, fruit and snacks. Marketing was also changed, from packaging to in-store signs and posters on the storefront. The sum of these changes gave an increased quality position. 7-Eleven associated with high quality meals increased 8 percentage points from 2016 to 2018. So far so good, but what did it take? A dedicated group of franchisees and their employees, and employment of highly qualified and dedicated professionals, including chefs, as head of the food, bakery, and hot and cold beverage. Education about handling fresh food in all stores across the country. Know-how about quality assurance and hygiene in all stores through gamification. Knowledge sharing about fresh food and stores experiences on the internal knowledge sharing Facebook page and profiling employees around quality convenience food. Technology was also used. Information about nutritional content in products was made available on digital platforms. Deals and loyalty initiatives on fresh food were activated in 7-Eleven's app, which led to a significant increase in number of downloads. In total, the app generates millions of scans every year making the shopping experience in all 7-Eleven stores even more convenient by being first with mobile payment in the Danish convenience market. Introducing self-service POS across selected stores. Home delivery of quality food in cooperation with an established online delivery service. Today, 7-Eleven is more relevant than ever. On average, a 43% increase in food products sold since 2013. 77% of all Danes between the ages of 15 and 60 visit a 7-Eleven store at least once a year, and many of them visit on a weekly basis. Highest score on to-go coffee of high quality amongst Danish convenience brands. Maybe that's why IDG Research in November highlighted 7-Eleven Denmark as one of the European convenience formats to learn from. In 2010 to 12, we were actually in a quite tough situation. We had to decide whether we wanted gradually to die and get totally irrelevant to the consumers or we wanted to survive. And we, we went for the survival part and we think we've done it quite well. Looking back, we have increased customer visits, we have increased turnover, we have increased profitability and we have become more relevant to more customers than we have ever been in the last 25 years.